Hi everybody, it's Tom from Vehicle Visionary. Today I'm at Red River Chevrolet and we're going to do a quick video here on what has changed for the 2022 Chevrolet Silverado. Don't worry, we'll do a full in-depth tour in the near future on one of these trucks, but today we're just going to focus on the changes and on the exterior it starts with the headlights and the grill, which are a little wider and a little lower for the 2022 model year. Other than that, there's not a lot of changes in that area, but you will find some changes available for the hood as well. I'm showing you that on a different truck. We put all of that together, and I believe Chevrolet has definitely made some positive steps in the right direction, but the biggest changes come in the interior where most people said they were needed. Let's take a look. All right, as we take a look into the area where the real changes, the biggest changes have taken place in the interior. So we're going to notice that instead of the mode selector being located up here, it's now down here next to the headlight functions, everything for controlling all the lighting around the vehicle. Remember, this used to be up here and the controls for the lights around the vehicle were located underneath on that area. So let's go ahead and hop on up in here and hopefully, let me make sure I've got a good view Hopefully, you can see really well both screens here as far as the amazing graphics on the instrument cluster, also there on the infotainment screen. And I'll go ahead and hit the starter button here. I'll let you see that updated dash display. I'm going to tell you what, it looks great. I think Chevrolet has really upped their game with the interior. I think they were reading a lot of your comments down in the comments section of my videos and saying, they're saying our interiors look antiquated. We need to fix that. And I believe they did. You'll also notice some larger shifter paddles. I like that. That works really well. They're a little bit larger, but one thing that is, I would like to see change maybe is the fact that you have these buttons on the back for controlling the radio on both sides you got to know for sure where you're reaching as far as those shifter paddles go. That would be kind of nice to see a little bit of a separation of sorts, but I'm not an engineer. I'm not going to be able to figure that out and tell you how that needs to be done. So, hey, I'll leave that to the pros, right? But let's take a look here at the infotainment screen. That is nice. That definitely has a great look to it. Some great features and functionality. You can well, basically use this similar to a smartphone. As you can see right there, I'm going to have to turn that off real quick just because it was picking up my voice, my speech. And then if you're going to be towing, notice that everything has changed its position here. All of this used to be across the top. So now you can go through everything that you have here. I'm not going to go through it in great detail, but just to show you a little bit of what's here. You've got your navigation right here which I should be able to give you a pretty good view of that. Well, he hasn't set that up yet, so I'm not going to do that. I don't want to go in and mess anything up on this guy's truck because he was nice enough to let me have the remote to show you this video. But as you can see, a very nice updated screen, and I don't know how many cameras are around the truck to look at. It looks like we just have one view here. There are a lot of features that you can add that aren't here, but just to give you an idea of what everything looks like, very clear view out of that rear view camera, but obviously you can have multiple views. Now you might notice that there's no charger, no wireless charging right here. Well, that doesn't mean it's not here. It's actually moved. In fact, let me do this. Let me open the center console to maybe give you a little bit better look at that. This is where your wireless charging is going to be. So you should be able to see my phone come on right there. Let's see, there it goes. Just to make sure that you can see that working, that's where your wireless charging is now. So you actually free up a little bit of space right here for whatever it is you might want to do. And then the other big change here within the interior besides, obviously the controls here for the air conditioning for your dual zone climate control, that's changed a little bit. Even the position right here, of the button for your engine start and stop has changed a little bit. And then the controls right here that used to be a little further down. So as you can see, Chevrolet really has done a good job. I like the way that you have the trim in front of all of these buttons right here and the control for the radio and everything right there, the volume and turning that on and off. That really just kind of gives it an added effect. It just looks better that way. I don't know why, but I like the way that looks. Now we'll take a look at one of the other big changes. And you can see the design changes here with the center console. 
but obviously with the shifter. So tell me down in the comments what you think. Do you like this new shifter and its location, or would you rather see a column shifter? I know a lot of you like those column shifters, so obviously that would be your choice if that's something you want. And then all you have to do here is push the button on the side to go into reverse. The good news is that you don't have to push that button when it comes to going into drive. So we're gonna go right there. Notice all I did was just push it like that. And then to go into neutral, you will push that forward, but to go into reverse, it kind of has a bit of a safety lockout there. That way, if for some reason you're driving down the road and the shifter is accidentally bumped, it will go into neutral instead of going into reverse, which obviously would be bad for the transmission. It could cause an accident. Not a good thing, not something you want to do. There, we'll go back into park. But essentially, those are the changes here in the interior. I think Chevrolet has done a very good job, but ultimately, you need to decide what you think. Tell me down in the comments section. So I gotta say a special thanks to my friend David who loaned me the remote to his new truck right here. I really appreciate that, David. And I appreciate each and every one of you for being kind enough to take the time to watch today's video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to check out another of the videos that's on the screen right now, and I will see you there.